water in the Kimberley is precious, but this cannot be drunk, for it is salt. And it's dangerous, too. The saltwater crocodile is a loner. Each male guards its territory jealously. Just now, his hunting ground includes a most desirable asset, a colony of 20,000 black flying foxes, which for a few weeks will roost each day in the mangroves by the bank. It has become his favorite basking place. The crocodile is not hungry all the time, but since he needs to rest somewhere to let the sun warm his blood, why not in a place where a tasty morsel may just fall out of the trees? This time the bats do not oblige, but still a meal is on the way, flapping up the riverbed on the incoming tide. The croc has eyes to see and a nose to smell, but he can also sense the least vibration in the water beneath him. The stingray has only seconds to live. Crocodiles cannot chew. They must break their prey in pieces before swallowing it in chunks. The light fades early in the deep gorges of the Kimberley. As night falls, the flying foxes leave their roosts to feed. The monsoonal climate, with its dry and wet seasons, creates this rich environment and gives refuge to a profusion of wildlife, some of which is rare or endangered, like the saltwater crocodile. Once aggressively hunted, it is now slowly increasing in numbers since it's been protected by law.